Hello class and welcome to our week six introduction video. Our topic this week is the folk religion of Japan known as Shintoism. So far this term we have begun in, um, and we have slowly moved east as we have moved from India into parts of Asia, China. Now we're as we move further east into Japan. We'll be taking a look at a religion uh, that has some very unique characteristics, especially in terms of religions we've looked at so far. Uh, you'll note that there are some peculiarities about this religion, uh, including uh, facts such as uh, that Shintoism has no sacred text. Um, it uh, requires no belief. There are no uh, initiatory rituals or practices. Furthermore, there's no idea about the difference between good and evil, right and wrong, uh, and there are no such thing as believers and non-believers. And so in many ways, uh, this religion is, as I, as I mentioned before, unique uh, in context of what we've looked at thus far. Often religions require all things of an individual. It requires you know, complete faith. Um, it requires sacrifice. Uh, and yet, within the Shinto practice, we see some peculiarities. If you were to be interested in visiting a Shinto shrine, I'm sorry to say that um, you will have to travel a great distance. Uh, the closest shrine to where we stand in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, is just under 2,000 miles away uh, in Colorado. There are a handful of Shinto shrines, though they are primarily located uh, on the west coast, or in uh, Hawaii. I believe of the, sh of the Shinto shrines that I've looked for, I found two, one in Colorado and one in Washington, and then five or six in Hawaii. Um, so if you wanted to visit, I'm sorry to say, but you uh, are probably going to be out of luck. Um, all right, we have a couple of assignments this week for you to look at, including a discussion board forum uh, asking you to consider uh, Shintoism as a religion. Is it fair to classify this as a religion given uh, the lack of so many uh, basic characteristics that we typically use to define uh, what a religion is? Uh, so I'll, I'll give you some time to consider that question and to reflect upon it and to prepare your own response. As always, class, if you have questions about the materials, um, feel free to give me an email uh, or send me an email. I'll be um, looking at your midterm exams this week and giving you feedback and your scores as quickly as I can. All right, good luck to you this week.